Great to be with you here today. My name is Peter Lewis. I am the president of Vortizon, Inc., a District of Columbia minority and service disabled veteran small business. I've been a pioneer in several fields, all of which are typically lacking in minority presence. For instance, I am one of the five original co-founders of Cellular One, the first commercial, uh, first commercial uh, cellular telephone company in the United States, which uh, changed the way America and the world communicates. I was the only minority owner of Cellular One and one of the few African-American uh, companies uh, owning uh, major city systems in the cellular industry overall. Also first conceptualized, coined, and published the term Internet of Things in September 1985 in a speech. in a speech to the 15th Legislative Weekend of the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation in Washington, D.C. The Internet of Things uh, now encompasses more than 25 billion devices worldwide, with more exponential growth expected in the coming years. The lack of African-American presence in cutting-edge technology ecosystems is distressing, in part because we are held to a higher standard when it comes to financing which is why in most cases I've had to self-finance ventures that wildly, wildly succeeded worldwide. So what am I doing now? My current company, Vortizon Inc., has filed for authority to become a nationwide flight authorization company for unmanned aircraft systems, more commonly known as UAS or drones. And yeah, we're seeking funding. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, the uh, Federal Aviation Administration requires all commercial drone flights to obtain permission to fly for each flight via an automated air traffic control system. The FAA also predicts that drone usage will top 6 million in 2020 in this country. PricewaterhouseCoopers predicts that the world market for drones will be $127 billion by the end of 2020. And Deloitte recently stated, quote, by handling the core functionality of the spectrum, air traffic controllers for drones have the opportunity to capture the largest revenue share in the UAS drone industry." End quote. In other words, the potential is enormous for the handful of companies like mine who are stakeholders in the development of the automated air traffic control business for drones. And my company, Vortizon, is the only African-American owned business that's in that group. Vortizon, through its nationwide UAS Traffic Management Channel Partner Program, will be fostering new revenue opportunities for African-American companies. I want to help increase the African-American presence in American technology ecosystems. So, Andrea Hoffman, in that respect, I request permission to declare myself a bona fide culture shifter. Yeah. <laughs>